Good morning. This is an update for Brace for Autumn 2022. There's so many exciting things happening, so I just felt I needed to record a video on everything that's been going on at Brace. It's a, a local independent charity, I'm sure you're aware, that is dedicated to solving that dementia problem through scientific research and eventually, hopefully, uh, getting a cure for dementia. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? So first of all, um, I wanted to talk about Faye and Jack's wedding. So both Faye and Jack have families that have been deeply affected by uh, dementia and they wanted to do something a little bit more different at that wedding to support dementia research. So they decided to um, hook up with Brace. They felt it was a match made in heaven, Brace being a local independent uh, dementia charity. And they decided to give their gifts uh, to the guests uh, brace badges and brace pens and uh, raise money for braces dementia research at the wedding so that was the that was the uh, idea but the delivery driver the day before the wedding came along and he was turned away at Southmead Hospital um, and up stepped Gian who is a local brace uh, fundraiser on her day off um, she was looking after her granddaughter she came in um, on her day off, she located the rogue delivery driver, managed to get the parcels of pens and um, badges, and then drove the parcels across town to uh, the wedding venue to make sure that uh, Faye and Jack had these uh, pens and, and uh, badges ready for their guests on the, on the big day. So it really struck home to me how people can really go above and beyond for dementia research. Um, the actual day itself went really well and they raised over a thousand pounds for uh, dementia research and all the guests got their brace, pens and badges. So a really lovely story uh, to begin with. We've had a couple of big major events this year, the biggest events since the pandemic at Brace. Um, in the summer, we had the auction and gala dinner at the Marriott Hotel, which is a really well attended um, event. Um, a lot of businesses donated some wonderful prizes for the auction. There was music, there was food and wine. It was just lovely to everybody to be together again in person for such a, a, a vibrant event. They raised over £15,000 for dementia research. So I would, I'm looking forward to next year's already. And then we had the annual conference which was literally just uh, last week in central Bristol, the Bristol Hotel. It was the ninth Brace Annual Conference. Uh, again, really well supported by local businesses. We were there at Harold Stevens um, and we had some such important and interesting talks by um, the latest uh, scientific researchers into dementia. We had people living with dementia talking about their, their experiences and I came away from the event feeling really uplifted, I think, and just fascinated by all things that are going on and um, optimistic about the way forward, really. Um, some of the standout talks were from uh, Wendy Mitchell, who is a, um, a person who has been living with dementia for, for many years, and she's wrote a number of books on the subject, and it was a really insightful and powerful um, talk, uh, interview on how it is to actually live with dementia on a day-to-day -day basis, some of the kind of the challenges that happen and how she overcomes them. So that was really insightful. A really exciting talk from George Stotthart, who is a scientific researcher at Bath University, who is uh, funded by Brace's Dementia Research. And he's looking into early, much earlier diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease through his... Um, new concept called fastball. It looks really exciting. It looks like um, it could be a scalable way of doing this. It's currently being um, trialled in a couple of GP practices in northwest Bristol. Um, he was talking about that you can live with Alzheimer's and not know about it for at least 15 to 20 years. Um, and then by the time you get diagnosed, it's often too late. So this is a really exciting development because it would ena enable GPs to diagnose Alzheimer's a lot earlier, which would mean that potential medication and drugs could be applied a lot earlier to delay or even perhaps even reverse Alzheimer's disease if, if early enough. 
um, or put preventative measures in place from a lifestyle point of view, which could also do the same thing. So that was really exciting. Um, and we also had Chloe Tulip, who was also doing her PhD at Swansea University, being funded by Brace's uh, Dementia Research Funding. And she was talking about dementia and sleep and how sleep can prevent or slow down the effects of dementia. She talked about ways in which you could improve your sleep and the optimum levels of sleep. Um, for someone who doesn't sleep very well, I was taking copious notes. Um, she's done a specific study on reading and sleep um, and how um, reading before sleep can really help um, get a good night's sleep. So really in interesting talk from Chloe. And uh, yeah, as I said, I came away from that day feeling really uplifted. So a really great event. A couple of exciting appointments to the Brace board over the summer. So we had uh, Jenny Pierce join. Um, she is a managing partner at Ward Solicitors, a local solicitors in, in northwest Bristol. Um, but they have offices all around the region. And Jenny specialises and an expert in uh, being an advocate for vulnerable clients, including clients with uh, dementia. She is a highly qualified solicitor, so she is a very positive addition to the Brace board. So really happy to, to have her on the board. And I'm sure you're aware of Seth Love. So he is a preeminent professor in neuropathology. He was a director at the Southwest Dementia Brain Bank, uh, recently retired but um, he's a globally regarded uh, professor in this field. So again, really exciting to have him on the Brace board. Uh, exciting times for Brace going forward. An update on a uh, finance update for 2021. So there was uh, th just over 300,000 pounds spent on dementia research uh, last year. Um, just over half of that went to the Southwest Dementia Brain Bank. There's a, a heavy link between Brace and, and the Brain Bank. We've been supporting uh, the Brain Bank for over 30 years. Um, plus local universities, as I said, researchers, scientists have also been funded through that spend. So uh, donations are down uh, in 2021, probably due to the cost of living crisis. Um, but I do understand that um, we are back on track to get those finances back to pre-pandemic levels. So down at the moment in terms of donations coming in, but optimistic that things are getting back on track going forward. The Southwest Dementia Brain Bank, we are so lucky to have this facility local to us, based at Southmead Hospital. It's one of the most, if not the most important facility in the UK. They provide uh, brain tissue to researchers all around the world. So I can't emphasize enough the importance of this brain center to looking for eventually a cure for dementia by really understanding what's going on in that brain tissue. Um, again, based locally right here in uh, Northwest Bristol. So amazing to have it just so local to us. Um, They've recently appointed a highly regarded researcher called Liz Coltard. So really exciting times. Um, she is also looking into research around early diagnosis of Alzheimer's for the reasons I mentioned before. Um, and again, she's looking into sleep and dementia. So really good luck to Liz in her research into dementia. Finally, yeah, we've got Christmas coming up again. Um, so if you can go onto the website and get your Christmas cards, that would be great because um, that raises a lot of funds for dementia research, um, actually over £10,000 per year just on the Christmas card sale. So get onto the Brace website and get your Christmas cards. We also have the Christmas concert on Saturday the 10th of December, uh, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Um, if you go onto the website, you can get your tickets. Um, I hope to see you there. And all proceeds, again, will go towards dementia research. So I'm sure you agree. There's lots of exciting things going on at Brace. Um, together, we will defeat dementia. Get involved. Uh, be generous with your donations. And I hope to see you at the Christmas concert. Okay.
thank you bye bye bye